4 given that so 3 to 7 fx dx is equal to 5 3 to 7 kx dx is equal to 7 find the value of each of the following so we see here we send 3 7 fx plus kx dx so we see here this one 3 to 7 is for fx plus kx dx so we can separate the integral so this one 3 7 fx so when you separate make sure you add the x here so this one is 3 to 7 kx dx so you see how i separate this so we see here 3 to 7 fx dx so here everything here is equal to 5 see it's given in the equation and then the second one 3 to 7 kx dx this one is equal to 7 so 5 plus 7 we get 12 b 3 to 5 fx dx minus 7 to 5 fx dx so we see here we have 3 to 7 fx dx so we know 3 to 7 so it's actually this one is dx right so it is on the x axis so this point where x is equal to 3 up to x is equal to 7 so this is what it mean by 3 to 7 so you see here if you see from here this one is 3 to 5 and then 7 to 5 so if we actually have uh, if we uh, actually have this one is 3 5 this one is negative right so if you want to change this one and this one it will become positive 5 to 7 fx dx so you see why i'm changing this one because we see here if we have this one and this one equal then we can combine so what does it mean this one is 3 to 5 right so this one is actually 5 here this one is 3 to 5 and then this one is from 5 to 7 so 3 to 5 5 to 7 is actually equal 3 to 7 so then you can combine to become 3 5 to become 3 7 fx dx so can you see so we have so 3 to 7 fx dx is equal to 5. C 3 to 7 fx plus 2x dx. So we see here we want to uh, we want to substitute 3 to 7 fx, right? So we have to separate this two. So how we separate it? This one is fx dx plus 3 to 7. 2x d so you see you can separate this one so this one and this one in a bracket is equal to this one and this one so 3 to 7 fx dx we know it is equal to 5 all right this one is equal to 5 and then plus this one 3 to 7 2x dx so we don't have 2x dx we have to integrate so we know that to integrate so we add power with 1 and then we divide with power so add the power with 1 so x is actually 2 x power of 1 so when we integrate we get 2x square because 1 plus 1 and then we divide with this power which is equal to 2 and this one is from 3 to 7 which is equal to so 2 and 2 can be cut off so we have 5 here which is plus so what we do is that first we substitute with x with 7 you see here so now we have x square right so x square is actually 7 square because we substitute x with 7 and then we minus so we have x square again this one we substitute with 3 so which is equal to 5 plus so 7 square is 49 minus 9 so which is equal to 5 plus 49 minus 9 is 40 so we ended up with 45 